Hey guys, Shane Starbucks with DroidModerX.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at Beans Build 3 for the Galaxy S4 on Verizon. Now this is a TouchWiz based ROM. In fact, we'll go ahead and check out the settings in About Phone. We're running 4.2.2. And it's build three of Jelly Beans ROM by Beanstown 106. Now, Beanstown 106 was one of my favorite developers on the Galaxy S3 and even the Galaxy Note 2. He's always been excellent at bringing us the stock TouchWiz ROM with tons of tweaks and mods to make it perform that much faster. So one thing about the stock TouchWiz ROM on the Galaxy S4 is that it's bloated down with all the TouchWiz features and for some reason it really tends to bog down the device. You actually do experience some lag which should not be happening on a phone that has a quad-core processor. I mean it shouldn't lag at all. So basically with this ROM you're going to get all of your TouchWiz features uh, this is not an AOSP ROM at all. You're going to get your eye scroll. you're going to get your smart stay. Um, all of those TouchWiz features that you've paid for with the Galaxy S4, you will retain with this ROM, but it's going to make things go a lot smoother, a lot faster. As you guys can see, it flies through the screens with no lag whatsoever. We can pull up the app drawer, go back to home, and there's just no lag at all. This ROM performs very well. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting pretty good battery life, better than stock. I'm at 47%. I've been on this all day since 7.30 this morning. It's about five o'clock. So I've been here for uh, about nine and a half hours with probably about two hours of screen on time. We'll check out the stats. So we're at almost 10 hours with one hour and 47 minutes of screen on time so that's not bad that we still have half of our battery left this will get us through the night uh, by the time I plug it up we'll probably still have 20 or 30 percent of battery life left so that's pretty good battery life not only do you get the superior TouchWiz experience on Jelly Beans Build 3 but you also do get some extra features as well so we'll go back into settings we'll go to my device and you do get this custom settings here so if we go into custom settings, you have all kinds of different customization options. If we go into ROM control, you have some general mods, keyboard icon and disable edge zoom, lock screen mods, you can turn on lock screen sounds and the home wake. So if you press the home button here, that will wake up your device. Audio mods are here. That's uh, music control. Clock options, you can add the center clock, which is what I've done. There's AM and PM style here. Day of the week. And you can change the clock color. So just to show you that it works on the fly, we will select a color here. And there you see it works. Then you have your status bar mods. We can change the status bar color. I'll leave it like it is. You can choose to show the alarm icon. Um, it's disabled by default so that your status bar is not clogged up. Of course your Wi-Fi and your GPS icons are removed as well and that pesky uh, Wi-Fi notification is removed as well. You can choose your battery icon. There's several to choose from here. I like the CM battery just because it looks nice and clean. You have, uh, if you choose a circle battery, you can change the color there and the text and the animation. You can enable the battery bar, so this would be like the MIUI battery bar uh, that goes across the status bar. You can enable it there and then modify that as well. Custom app settings, you've got CPU control. There is no custom kernel uh, that comes with this ROM so you're not going to be able to overclock or underclock but of course on this ROM you're not going to need that because it does perform very well everything's fast there's no lag whatsoever so you're going to have no reason to overclock there are some governors that you can choose from that may help you save some battery life then you have some other settings here as well there's a GPS quick fix that'll fix issues with the GPS lock if you're having those issues personally I've not had those issues on this ROM and then you have a media battery drain fix. This also comes with exposed framework mods. You have the framework installer per app DPI in case you wanted to convert any of your applications into tablet mode. You're able to do that there. Theme engine allows you to flash any signage in mod 10 or AOKP themes from the Play Store. And then you have your exposed tweak box. There's several different 
modifications that you can choose in there as well. And then you have the over-the-air update center. Beanstown 106 likes to update his ROMs on a regular basis. He's all the time adding functionality and cleaning up his ROM and making it even faster. So he probably releases a build at least once a week. You'll be able to hit this over-the-air update center and download the latest update of Jelly Bean's build. And then of course if you make any changes and you don't see them change automatically, you can reboot your device here and it'll go ahead and make that change. And then just to show you guys, it does include all of the TouchWiz features. You've got call, blocking, power saving mode, uh, motions and gestures, smart screen, air view, and your voice control is all included. One of the other great functions of uh, TouchWiz is the multi-window feature. With stock TouchWiz, you only get a select assortment of applications that are included in the multi-window. You can see here that Jelly Beans includes all applications so any application that shows up in your app drawer will also show up in this multi-window menu here. So there have been some modifications made to the TouchWiz launcher. You'll see that it does scroll infinitely. Of course there's no lag. It's faster than the stock launcher and then in the app drawer everything is alphabetical which makes everything easy to find. For some crazy reason Samsung likes to break these into um, apps that came with the phone and apps that you've downloaded and everything is wonky sometimes it's hard to find things quickly but this has all been placed in alphabetical order by default which makes things a whole lot easier so one of the things that have been included here is a four-way reboot menu so we're going to restart you can boot directly in back into the OS if you click reboot quick reboot is going to reboot a whole lot quicker without the boot animation and then you have download mode and recovery you have your CRT off animation, which is a nice touch. We've got jelly bean wallpapers. So we go to set wallpaper. You see that we do have our jelly bean wallpapers, which gives it a little bit more of that AOSP theming while maintaining all of our TouchWiz features. Long press menu to kill the current application. There are some new gestures that have been added here. We have Wi-Fi, hotspot, air gesture, and blocking toggles have all been added to uh, your toggles here in your quick settings. So one of the big plus of running Jelly Beans build, you'll notice if we go in the app drawer that most of the bloatware has been removed. We don't have the Amazon app, the NFL app, uh, Flipboard, Kindle app, all of that extra junk that most of us don't use. It's not included here, so that actually frees up a lot of that precious space, especially on the Verizon version of the Galaxy S4, which only has a 16 uh, gigabyte internal storage. Um, it really helps things out to not have all that extra bloatware. And then I believe the Wi-Fi tether is enabled here, so if we go to more networks, and mobile hotspot, we can turn that on. And we should be able to use that uh, without having to provision through Verizon. Guys, that about wraps it up for Jelly Beans build number three. To install this ROM, you simply reboot into recovery. And we'll just wipe data, cache, download cache, and install the zip. This does not include a G apps, so you don't have to flash the Google application zip, just the ROM itself, since the Google apps are included. Very simple install, not much to it. So once Team Win Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery boots, we're just gonna wipe data, cache, and download. You would swipe to wipe, and then we'll install. Go to your download folder if you've downloaded it directly to your phone, that's where it'll be. And look for this Jelly Beans Build 3 Zip. Make sure that's what you're flashing. Swipe to flash, give it two or three minutes to flash, and then we'll just reboot our system. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to click the thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Galaxy S4, the HTC One, the Galaxy Note 2, and all the devices that are coming in the near future. I'll be covering them here on this channel, so you want to make sure that you're subscribed for that. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks again for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.